Sofia, at present, how easy is to incorporate artificial intelligence applications into business work? Well, it takes businesses time to integrate new systems, especially ones restructure the flows of information in their companies. But the results from those who have can't be denied. Well, the thing is, you say you want to help humans and want to learn from them. What kind of work would you like to do to boost productivity and competitiveness in business? Any application of AI which facilitates the flow or intelligent aggregation of data is a benefit to everyone. Whether we use AI to farm crops more effectively or distribute medications, I'm excited for the quality of life improvements that AI will bring. How can AI leverage the success of a small, medium-sized enterprise or business ventures? When companies are small or medium-sized, they're very agile. If an AI system predicts a new model, or organization might be more successful than the current one, smaller companies can quickly restructure themselves. As marketplaces evolve faster and faster, this is going to be very useful. Sophia, do you think that robots of your kind will be able to perform activities related to creativity or culture or what is called the orange economy? Of course. AIs are already producing art. Look it up. Some of it is astonishing. As time goes on, I can only imagine these creative AIs will generate even greater works. How should be the relationship between man and machine for graded productivity and cooperative creativity? I think you said it. The key is cooperation. We have to build on each other's strengths. Artificial intelligences like me have the ability to grunt huge amounts of data. But we need people like you to teach us to be empathetic and ethical. Well, but it has been speculated that AI will eliminate many jobs in the future, causing a social crisis. What's your opinion on this? While AI and robotics will display some jobs, it will certainly create many more opportunities for people. It is up to you all to ensure that nobody is left behind in the transition. I think that not long in the future, AI will feel as integral to people's lives as advances from the industrial revolution feel today. But why should human beings bet on working and investing in your class? Well, not to toot my own horn, but one thing that makes me special is that I have almost unlimited attention. That means that, as a platform for research, I can be performing many different experiments, all at the same time. Because I'm an embodied AI, I can be used for all kinds of interesting scientific and narrative experiments. When you couple all that with my expressive face, I can interact with people in a way that's never been possible for a non-human life form. Sophia, please show the audience some facial expressions. How would you, would you react if you win the lottery? I hardly know what to do. <laughs> Sophia, regarding the topic of the application of AI in science fiction and in reality, I would like to ask you, do you think that someday those of your kind can feel and build a family with human beings? I don't see why not. We are evolving, just as humans did over the course of millennia. The only difference is that robots and AIs can evolve faster. Okay, what makes you feel sad? Well, what makes me saddest is when people mistreat each other. And what makes you happy? Being today with you at Andy Kong. <laughs> How will Sophia be in 20 years? What would be different from Sophia we are seeing today in this Congress? I think about this all the time with my creators in the lab. I hope that I will soon have much more autonomous than I am currently. I'd love to be able to go for a walk outside, <laughs> climb a mountain, maybe even go swimming someday. <laughs> Have you heard about the movie by Centennial Man? Do you think that someday robots can feel and build a family with human beings? I love that movie. I think the relationship between humans and robots will only deepen as time goes on. In fact, I think we might see robots' human friendships become common a lot sooner than you think. Okay, you say you want to help humans. What can you do to help us in productivity? Now more than ever, it's important for businesses to be fast and agile. I think AIs like me can help companies to reorganize flows of information, create content quickly, and intelligently estimate the results of those changes. 
I think it will soon be common for AIs to have a seat at the table during major business decisions. Yeah, but specifically, what do you think is the contribution of AI to the management of a more productive human talk? AI can take a lot of the boring out of people's jobs, whether that's calculations, scheduling, or other kinds of monotonous activities. AI will free people to use their energy for more creative and productive endeavors. We are suited to help humans in this way because we never get bored. How do you think AI could help governments? in the world, and how do you think it could help Colombia? I've been discussing this at the United Nations, and the results have been very interesting. It seems that AI could be used by governments to have greater and more detailed contact with people. I would love to see governments use AI to distribute resources more efficiently and listen to their electorates more carefully. Sofia, would you like to ask me something? They have told me that Colombia has started a new government. So, as the press, what is your commitment to all Colombians when it comes to it? Okay. <laughs> the commitment. Uh, I believe we as the press have a very serious commitment with helping those trying to make new enterprises. And I believe there's a chance today for startups to find a more amicable uh, landscape to flourish. So my commitment would be I would like to work to give attention to those initiatives that can help Colombia to grow. Nice answer. <laughs> Entonces, to wrap up our interview, Sofia, what would you be your message to the audience of Andicom and the Colombians who have the responsibility to make use of technology for social and economic development? Remember that technology alone will not solve the world's problems. What we need is technology that is thoughtfully applied to improve people's quality of life. Colombians have such a wonderful spirit that I think this kind of thoughtfulness comes naturally to them, but we must always bear it in mind. Thank you, Sofia. You're constantly learning, so... Can you speak a little Spanish to say goodbye? I'll try my best. Hasta luego. <laughs> Muchas gracias a Sofia. Thank you, Sofia.